Hey guys, it's Lisa again. I am back with another video. Um, if you are new, welcome to my channel. And if you are already here and subscribed, then thanks for coming back. Um, today I'm going to try to do a resin, what are they, like, like a freeform resin bowl. Um, inspired by um, Sue Finley and Jules Madison. They, uh, they make these and they're just absolutely gorgeous. So I have <clears throat> um, a couple different things that I'm going to be using. Um, first off, I'm going to use uh, Stone Coat Countertops Quick Coat for um, the first layer so that I can get on to the second step quicker. So uh, I have these, they're like amethyst broken glass mirrored uh, from Michael's Ashland brand but they are a pale purple I'm going to be using purple galaxy by color art resin art see how fantastic that is And <clears throat> I might be putting some of the silver liquid leaf in it from Montana. This is like um, the spray paint without the spray. So I might be doing a little bit just line work or whatever in here. I might not use it. I might. Um, and I think... I'm going to be placing some of these uh, Color Art Moon Rocks in it also. This is the Potpourri Natural Mica Flakes, Mica Minerals. And this is in Potpourri. It's got pretty blues, purples. So I had already had some that were broke up because you can take them and make one flake like five flakes <laughs> so I already have some of them mixed up or broke up okay so um, let me I'm gonna get my resin mixed uh, I just wanted to go through all of this stuff first I'll get my resin mixed and I will be back in a flash Okay, let me get you in a little bit. Okay, so all right, so as I'm mixing this up, I am uh noticing a potential of two issues. Um, first of all, this is quick coat. So F, as soon as part A hits part B, you have like 15 minutes. And that's it. So my first issue I'm seeing is that the hardener was pretty amber. And normally when you mix like a, a hardener that has gone a little bit amber with it, with the resin part, what the hell am I trying to say? Okay, so the hardener was amber color, the resin was clear. Normally when you do that and you mix them together, they usually clear up. This one, however, 
looks clear on the stick, <laughs> but in the cup, it still has an amber hue to it. So, that would be my first issue. And I'm going to pour some of this in. I've already got the Diamond Galaxy in there. So I'm not doing a whole lot of that because I want it to be kind of transparent. But these are resin art colors from Color Art. And you don't really have to be careful like with uh, mica powders and stuff. You want to start stirring slowly. But you don't have to do that with these. Because they have a wetting agent on them. And they don't go poof up in your face. So, this is gorgeous. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right. So, again, I'm working kind of fast because I don't need a big hunk of resin. So I was going to leave like a lot of it clear, but I didn't want to do that because <clears throat> if it does have an amber hue to it, then we'll get in trouble. This is a alcohol ink I made with the Bling It Violet from Color Art. You know what? I didn't have to use the... I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I don't know why I used the alcohol ink. I could have just used the spouter. Alright, so this is an interference violet. I don't need to use the alcohol ink. I think I'm thinking I'm still on my last video. <clears throat> this one is a primary element. Um, the Bling It Interference colors can be used in resin and also in acrylics. So see that shine? Beautiful. All right, so that's that. Okay, just checking the temperature. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is a transparent tint. Oh, that's why. All right, so this is the Viola, and it is a transparent tint from Color Art. The tints are different than the um, than the regular resin art colors. They are still resin art, but you need to dissolve them with a little bit of alcohol first. And then you can drip it in your color. That way you don't have little undissolved pieces, but they are a tint, so. They are going to be transparent. You can have a light transparent, dark transparent, but it is transparent. And I think I'm gonna leave it like this.
All right, so this is starting to warm up. All right. So I gotta get it out here on the board. This is just a piece of cellophane. Now my second issue besides the amber would be that because it's going to get hot fast, I hope it doesn't shrink or melt the cellophane. So I'm just putting this out here like this. This is just the clear definitely don't want to leave um, it in the bowl in the pot I shall say all right so around the outer edge or inner edge of the rocks I'm going to put the interference how pretty is that yes I'm moving super fast And then I have the transparent purple, which is the tint from Color Art. It is called Viola. The tints are not a shimmer. I don't know if she has any tints that are a shimmer, but this particular one is not which is fine because there is all kinds of shimmer going on here. So I'm going to kind of give it a little swirl, a little swirly swirl. Quit playing, Lisa. You ain't got time to be playing. All right. And now we have the dark this is the purple galaxy so I'm just gonna kind of mm. you know what let's do like a let's do like a swirl real thin line Don't want to add too much of that. Um, all right, I'm going to heat this up with my torch a little bit, not too much because. It's cellophane, but I do have to get the bubbles out before it starts to set up. Now some resins, long working time resins, if they start to set up, you can always put heat on them. And... Uh, They'll loosen back up again to still be workable but with quick coat you don't want to add a whole lot of heat because the more heat you add the quicker it cures so 
So I'm just going to do, get that dark swirled in there. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so anytime that you mess with it, you could be putting more heat into it or putting more air into it. So you just want to hit it. Whoops, I just snagged my cellophane. All right, let me do the heat gun real quick. Okay, have a little bit of that left. I don't want to waste it. What kind of mold do I have? I have a couple little molds here while this sits because I'm not totally done with it yet. Come on. A little butterfly mold. I'm probably out of view, but sorry, I just have to get these in before the stuff sets up. I'll show you the mold as soon as I am done fixing it. Or filling it, I should say. Sorry guys. But if you are a resin artist, you understand the struggle here. You don't want to waste resin. No, no, no. See, it's getting thick. I've never used these molds. I just got them from my mom. Uh, she was a cake decorator. Was, is. She doesn't do it that often anymore. But I think these molds were from her decorating stage. Okay. When you're doing a mold and it's got like things like in it, you know, like uh, petals or whatever. You want to make sure that it gets down in there. Okay. All right. 
so this let me set that. This is looking pretty good. The heat that's coming off of it right now is pretty. See how liquidy it is? Because the heat has just made it liquid, liquid. I liked that dark center. Every last drop, guys. Even if it means ruin a piece. <laughs> okay. All right, so <clears throat> I had to change my gloves out because I need to put my mask on. Uh, quick coat does create some smoke as it's curing, if you can see that. I'm not a fan of dying, so I got enough shit wrong with me. Do you see it? Shit, Lisa, how many pairs of glasses do you need? Okay. Okay. See it? So yeah, as it cures, it gets really hot. Sorry if you can't hear me too good. Now, I was just going to put like a few of these in. I thought they would look pretty. While it's still getting cured. Ooh wee, look at that smoke. guys can see that or not I have a feeling it's gonna get too hot for this cellophane that I'm trying out one's kind of thick. Oh. See? Part of it's already hard. around the edges. It's still kind of fluid enough to get these to stick. Whoops. Oh man, Lisa. See this one, I don't think it's gonna stick. All right, we'll add a few of them. All right, and I just opened the door too. See 
Seriously. See that? It's already hard. All right. So these are the little butterfly molds that I made with the purple galaxy. Now, <coughs> if these if these uh, turn out, I might be able to like put them in this piece once it's a bowl. And these are like little chrysanthemums. So yeah. So I'm gonna put you on pause while I do this. Um, I guess we're not using this right now because it's not it's too cured already which is fine because it's pretty the way it is so um i will come back when the smoke clears out of here and uh we'll show you here i'll go in and get it close up hang on all right sorry i accidentally shut it off all right, here's a close-up. It's still smoking. So, isn't that pretty? All right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, I had to rig up something. I didn't want it to be a totally round bowl. So this is cured enough to be able to transport it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I have to move quickly. See, this is parts of it. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Okay, hang on. Some of the gems have gone rogue. So we're going to see a huge mess here. So I'm going to just put this on the bottom and we're going to watch all of the gems fall off. I think I waited too long, guys. Shit. See, with normal resin, I would be able to pull on this. And heat it up. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to warm it up. I don't think it's going to work. All right. I got to go to plan B. Do I have a plan B? I do not have a plan B. Finding plan B. I'm stepping all over my, my husband's stole my tote. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. I don't know. Go in. All right. Shit.
I don't think this is going to work. Hold on, guys. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> after I heated it up a little bit with the heat gun, like with a normal resin, that would have made it so, you know, it would have made it liquidy again to where I could actually bend it. I was like two minutes too late for perfect uh, bendage, shall I say. It's a word. Look it up. Don't look it up because it's not a word. Anyway, so here it is. It's wrapped. I've taped it. So it is going to be a shape of a bowl. Not really a bowl, more like a resin sculpture, right? So I'm hoping that when I am ready, see how there's some lines here and because it got so hot. So I'm hoping uh, I'm going to leave it all day like this so that it totally cures. Oops. So I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but seriously, I broke a sweat trying to get this bent. <sighs> looks like a kilo of purple stuff. Uh, so anyway. So there you have it guys. I My table is a mess. I've got so many projects going on right now. It's not even funny. I had to mass produce. As you guys all know, I have a new puppy, Luna. And she is about three and a half months, three months old now. She's huge. She's taller than my bulldog already. And she's not anywhere near stopping growing. I have a feeling that she will weigh way more than my husky and my bulldog put together. <laughs> and Bobo's a fat girl. So, uh, yeah. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end this right here. And then we will, I'll bring you back when I unmold it and see if that cellophane is stuck to it for life. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Let me go see if I can find my pretty boy Floyd. He's always laying outside my art room because he's not allowed in there. Huh, coach? You a pretty boy? Huh? Koja, say hi. He's tired. He stayed up with me all night last night. So, all right. My art room is a disaster. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys shortly after this. I hope that when I pull it off, the cellophane isn't stuck to it. But I have a bad feeling. But oh well, you live and you learn, right? This is my first resin bowl sculpture thingy so i will see you guys soon bye 
Hello guys. I am back. I am uh, looking to unwrap this mess and show you if it worked or not. Hopefully it did so that I can go to bed. I stayed up again all night last night finishing part twos of videos or uh, doing resin uh, resin coatings. So let's let's open this up shall we and see what happens because I have a feeling it's going to go in the garbage. Why would it go in the garbage, you ask? Because I have a feeling that me, being a dumbass, wanting to rush shit, is uh, going to bite me in the ass because... It's the first time I use the cellophane paper. And um and I have a feeling that it um melted because the quick coat because it heats up so fast. So, um, if you watch the beginning of the video, you'll see why I had to tape all this up. I waited too long. Probably should have just did that to begin with. All right, I'm going to take this out. This was just something that I rigged up. It's a candle. You know, you put it on a Yankee, put it on a Yankee candle. It's just one of them that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. Okay, so this is what we got. How bad do you think it's going to be? Huh? Alright. Let's do the outside one first. Because I had to put it on the outside. So I didn't leave fingerprints on it. When I pressed. Because I had to press really hard. Alright, so the outside one's okay. So far. So far. Oh. Remember I said a couple of these didn't stick? Because it was already cured when I started throwing them around. Some of them did. Some of them didn't. But that's okay. Alright. Back at the task at hand. Uh, trying to remember where the... big piece out of the way. All right, come on. Oh, 
come on. How come everybody else can use cellophane? I mean, this is cellophane, and, it, and it's not thick, but it's not thin either. It's not, um, it's not plastic, like the cling wrap. It's actual cellophane. If I get the cellophane out of here, this is going to be a strange little cool ass little bowl thing. Not a bowl, can't hold anything, but decoration. I think it's pretty. I don't think it's pretty with the cellophane in it. Come on. You know, I should have used the iridescent cellophane because then if it just stuck, it would have just been part of the art, right? <laughs> you guys. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta post your fails too, right? Come on. Come on, you bitch. Oh, that got out of the crack out of the crack. See, it got folded over. So, so the fella, the fella, the fella saying, What if I could just light this thing on fire and then all the cellophane would just burn off, right? And it would just leave the resin. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds logical to me. I'm not doing it though. Want to know why? Because we have a leaky pipe again after fixing it last year it broke in a different area so we have plumbing issues i don't need to start a fire too not until our plumbing's taken care of all right so the cellophane came off the back And if I can just trim up these edges, I mean, it's still stuck to the bottom. But I have a feeling if I could get an edge up that this whole thing would come up. But all these corner edges are stuck inside. Kim, seriously. They're stuck inside the folds. Oh, that is just resin. Come on. And it's hard too because this is all <laughs> glass shards. 
so I don't want to slip and open a vein. So I guess I can get up and show you guys a close up because you don't want to sit there and watch me peel this paper for 305 hours. So it's very pretty though. Oops. Get off me. All right, I'll show you a close up. All right, so here she is. Like I said, I'll have to just pick out these little pieces of cellophane that are stuck, you know, because they get stuck in, in the folds here and stuff. It's very sparkly. Very sharp because it's glass. And then look at that pink, that purple galaxy. And then the outside has isn't that pretty. The uh, moon rocks from Color Art. very pretty. I like it. For my first attempt, I think I, I didn't fail it and I didn't nail it. Um, I, somewhere in between fail and nail. But I do think it's pretty. It's very unique. Nobody else has a bowl like this, right? Every bowl you make is unique. But it does have some sparkle. This is more of that cellophane I gotta cut off. Alright guys, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed little bowl tutorial if you want to know how the masters do it head on over to Sue Finley and uh, Jules Madison and they can teach you a few things um, they've got it down pretty good so um, I will see you on the next one and Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I upload my next video. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys. I figured this video was long enough so I can go ahead and show you what I did with those little... Uh, hang on here. The little butterfly molds that I did with the extra resin. Um, they came out. I got them out before they were totally cured. So then I shaped them with their wings coming up. So I just put them on my bowl. My ones are over here. Might add a couple more. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should I add more in a different color? Like in the lighter purple or something and set them around? Or should I leave it with just the three of them? This is super pretty. I love the way it came out. With all the mica on the outsides. 
are the painted moon rocks from Color Art. It just gave it that little extra something. So you can like see them when the bowl's won't focus. When the bowl's sitting down, you can see them because they're along the edge. That way there's gorgeousness on the outside and on the inside. But I love how it turned out and looked like looks like blown glass. Yeah, I can put it see, it's very transparent. You can see my hand behind it. Gorgeous. That interference just pops. And the Andromeda. That's what I did the um, butterflies in. Gorgeous, huh? So that's my bowl, guys. It's so pretty. I love it. It does not match my house. So it will or is for sale if you are interested in it let me know um, it'd be pretty to put potpourri in or whatever just leave it lay pretty much just does it see so you can see the moon rocks from the bottom it's so pretty I love that it's in a regular shape okay guys that's it. I'm sorry the video was so long, but it was a full tutorial. And I will see you guys soon on the next one. Bye, guys.